happen? And for future reference, is there any other security of a golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right. And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the city president. If he was, we would have had this higher golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful weekend. And unfortunately, on a Sunday afternoon, as such as this, there's a lot of news. And, well, not a lot of news, but Trump has been almost assassinated again for the second time. Man, the deep state, the Democrats, they're really, really trying to gun-ho at President Trump. It really looks like he is in the winning circle, and they're trying everything in their power to get him. Now, as you've seen there with the clip before, you are hearing that... Uh, well, if Trump is not Trump is not the sitting president, so he's just not going to have as much uh, secret service as the rest of them. Even though two months ago he was almost assassinated, so you should probably increase the amount of secret service for him, considering the fact he was almost assassinated. This is insane here. This is literally insane. So again, we're going to go over a few things here. Now, this is still an upcoming things. Like every twenty, every ten, twenty minutes, more information is coming out. So again, I, I will give you what I can, and then later on, as to the, as most likely tomorrow, I'll be doing reports and stuff like that on this. So kind of give you all that information. I'm not going to do consistent reports right now because it's kind of pointless. It, it, it's it's too much, right? So. Right now, what we have is the Trump assassination suspect was hiding in the bushes with an AK-47 with a scope, two backpacks, and a GoPro. The Secret Service agents were on one were one hole ahead of Trump, scoping out the area where they noticed a suspect. The FBI is now investigating the incident as an attempted assassination, making this the second assassination attempt on Trump in two months. Trump was taken to the ground by agents after the pops rang out. According to the Secret Service... Agents fired four shots at the suspect. It is unclear if the suspect is shot, was shot was as well. Have more. From Charlie Clark saying, Breaking, the USSSS has confirmed that it was Secret Service agents who fired the suspect as opposed to shots being exchanged or the suspect initiating the gunfire. The suspect has, has dropped his rifle and immediately fled per Fox News. So, that's what's going on here. I may believe he's been captured now, but, uh, We'll uh, get to it. Now, we have, of course, mainstream media and all these people lying about this assassination attempt because they don't want to bolster the ability to, you know, saying Trump has been assassinated or whatever, right? And I'm going to be going over these things with you guys because, of course, these people are lunatics. They're insane. They're the worst people on the planet. And they're also the reasons why uh, Trump was almost assassinated again. Make it, make no, make this a actual point here. So, a number of large left-wing accounts quickly spread disinformation lies, trying to debunk the shooting attempt in, a, in the vicinity of Donald Trump at Trump International Golf Club in West, in West Palm Beach, California. They include fake fact-checker and disinfo influencer accounts, Ed Crescentine, Media's Touch, and Art Candy. Elon Musk accounts like this should be demonetized so they don't generate X income off their viral disinformation. So... They have, from Ed Crossington here, Fact Checkers Unite, which is going on here. And then we have, uh, MAGA is now claiming that there was another assassination attempt on Trump. Fact is, Trump was never in any danger, and after two people exchanged gunfire outside his Florida golf course. They just keep pushing more and more lies. Then, he goes on to, then, Media's Touch says, This is completely false. And she has spent all day spreading lies, and then later on replying to herself that she's learned new information after her, her spread lies. Two people, uh, uh, okay. Right? The Trump campaign also released a statement trying to make this seem like it had to do with Trump. Ask yourself, why would they do that, and why are reporters posting their statement and not the real story? They are, but you guys are absolutely 100% lying here. We have video evidence of police and everything going around. And it says, these organizations have no same shame after Axios saying Trump safe after gunshots in his vicinity, Co campaign says. Meet his touch. First off, uh, Axios is a left-wing site. It is a left-wing site. That is what's going on here. <laughs> it is a left-wing site. So I don't know what you're talking about. If anything, they would have said Trump has been shot or hasn't been shot. <laughs> uh, and again, 
We have this from Eric Candy. It had absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump. It goes on to say, your need for another fake crisis is sad and desperate. Another fake crisis? So the person that was shot at the, I may believe Corey, uh, that was shot and killed, that was fake too? That that was fake? The blood on the benches was fake? Uh, so, uh, 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 and all that? Yeah, right. That, uh, yeah, that was fake. Oh, that was quick. These, ch I think these, uh, I think these, uh, these, uh, site, uh, channels should be taken down immediately because they are nothing but, uh, propaganda stuff. So, again, the Trump state, Trump, uh, Trump, uh, campaign team made a statement about this it says president trump is safe following gunshots in his vicinity no further details at this time so that's what the trump, uh, trump campaign has said currently about the situation and of course we have this msnbc's alex Whitewick argues the trump campaign needs to turn down the rhetoric now that donald trump has been shot at for the second time in three months do you expect there to be calls for whether the trump campaign can tone it down Elias Jordan replies, she hopes Trump makes it this unity type infection point, but fears he won't do it. What do you mean? It's your guys' fault that it's doing this. We're going to watch this, guys. We're going to listen to this. Yeah. Uh, do, do you expect there to be calls from within the Trump campaign to do that? Um, because he's going to reach out to his uh, supporters and say, let's take this down. Uh, we do not know, again, the source of any gunshot or gunshots. We don't know who's responsible for this. Uh, the whole thing has yet to be 100 percent confirmed uh, from start to finish how this all played out. But do you expect to hear anything from the Trump campaign about toning down the rhetoric, toning down the violence, or would that be atypical? of uh, the former president. Well, Alex, remember back to the assassination attempt on President Trump's life and how, you know, there was talk of a new tone and then the, re the Republican convention was by Trumpian standards muted and it did seem like he was, you know, just trying to take it down a few notches, but then by the end of his convention speech, you know, we were kind of back to where uh, we started. So. I don't know how long this could, you know, this moment of unity for the country where we come together and we say, I don't want any political opposition to be under threat of violence. It's not, okay, any threat of violence, you know, we don't want. I, I would love for us to have a unity type moment, but I think it's probably going to be pretty fleeting as we've seen in the past. Right, because you guys are not the ones that are saying Trump's a fascist. Trump is this. Trump is going to ruin our, or is going to it ruins democracy. Trump is going to uh, Trump and their Republicans republic is the reason why they're a threat to our democracy, a threat to our country. You guys are the ones that have been going on and doing this. You are the ones that are creating this mass hysteria. You cause this, and the fact that you are going out of your way to discredit yourselves and say it's Trump's fault is disgusting of you. This is what I'm talking about. MSNBC is a propagandist news outlet and they lie and they don't even hold themselves accountable for the actions that they've done. So we have this here. The Trump would-be assassination has been identified as Ryan Wesley Ruth, according to Fox News. Ruth was allegedly hiding in the bushes with an AK-47 with a scope, two backpacks, and a GoPro, and was spotted by the Secret Service before he could take action. So, we are told the suspect's name is Ryan Wesley Ruth, not much more knowing about him at this time, except that he's a suspect currently in custody right now. And of course, we have this here, saying President Trump was between 300 and 400 yards from the suspect when agents confronted him. How far away was the president? How far away was Donald Trump when this gentleman was caught and stopped? I got it. Probably between three and five hundred yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. So, uh, three hundred to five hundred yards. That is insane. That is insane. How does that happen? And of course, as I've shown you guys before, that. Uh, that uh, the Secret Service, there's not much of the Secret Service because he's not the actual president, sitting president. So even though he was assassinated about two months ago, uh, it's okay. We're just not gonna have more. We're just not gonna have more Secret Service around him because, well, <laughs> he's not the Senate president. That's insane. Now I could maybe you could probably get away with this statement. Probably get away with this statement if he wasn't like assassinated. But he's already been assassinated. So you would think that you know maybe. 
uh, yards of the vicinity should be spread out way more than just 300 to 500 yards and maybe have more secret service in play but of course you're not doing this that's insane and of course, as I showed you guys, officials on why Trump did not ha have Secret Service protection surrounding the golf course, he is the sitting president. So yeah, that is what's insane here. That's insanity, and we'll be keeping up to date to you guys tomorrow, most likely, on what's going on. But I want to give you kind of a TLDR, can't speak English here, and uh, what's going on. Uh, and this is just insane. The Democrats in the far left are in full force here. They're the ones that are causing all this mayhem, all this destruction, and why there's so much hate, division, and all this stuff against Trump and, honestly, the Muslim Republicans. And uh, it's just, you, they're the cause of this. They're the cause of all of this. And you guys won't end it. In fact, you're going to outright lie about things like this. So, uh, you guys are the cause of this. You guys are causing the mayhem and the destruction in our country. And uh, you guys are going to have egg on your faces and look like a complete idiot when more information comes out and proving you guys all wrong again. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friend. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.